Hey there, I'm Parrish Randall, and all you guys know how strongly I feel about animals, taking care of animals, pet owners obviously being responsible, but as well, I feel very strongly about those people, organizations that are out there to rescue and adopt out pets. And I'm speaking with an author, Anna Cantor, who feels as strongly as I do about, again, taking care of her little four-legged friends because it has been my experience, the four-legged friends are the best ones we have. So Anna, tell me about the book you wrote, that, uh, what you do. Um, I'm a, I teach literature at Navarro College, uh -huh. and um, I've been there for about 20 years, and so my love of literature, and I've always loved animals, especially dogs, and we have several rescue pets ourselves, and so I decided to put the two together, and um, I've written a little twist on mm -hmm. Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, Okay. and it's about the pilgrims are dogs, and okay, a lot cool. of them in there are rescue. There are dogs, little yeah, pictures of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I saw the bus out front, yes. and uh, so could you tell me a bit about what I wanted to do is um, my this is my book launch, and I coupled with Limestone County's Animal Rescue, yeah. and they are giving us um, they brought the bus with dogs to pet to adopt because I want to bring awareness for people to adopt animals, and so we're also taking donations today for for us dog food or money to give to the to the animal shelter and I want people to realize that adopted pets are make the best pets. The rescue animals. They really do. And Anna, is there a website that people can go to or any, 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 if someone wanted to gain more information or gather more data? And I have, I'm going to have a website. Um, the publishing company is putting it together. The publisher is Author House, one mm -hmm. word, and um, they're putting together a website for me and then we're launching a Facebook page for the main character in the book whose name's Harry Bailey. Fantastic. And so and he's a little rescue schnauzer. Yeah. So. But, but you should be able to my name and um, or Cantorberry Tales with a K and you'll be able to find us. Okay, and I'll also on my social media here and as well my website, I'm going to link with Anna and uh, because I really admire again what she's doing and I mean it sincerely. Thank you. Uh, again, I have to go back and reiterate once more, our four-legged friends make the best friends. Uh, you know, oftentimes you see the people wearing the t-shirts that say, the more I know so-and-so, the more I love my dog. Well, you know, there's a loyalty, there's a love that a good dog, cat, a pet, period, can give to you that is, again, uh, it's just a pure kind of unconditional love. And so thank you so much for taking the time thank to talk with me. And thank you again as well for taking the time to, again, lend your time to rescuing and saving, again, those little furry friends that we love to cuddle with every night and day. And I hope it does. I hope it brings awareness to the That's rescue. a go. All right. Yes. Well, we're in Mejia, Texas, by the way, Limestone County, my home county. I'm back here for the holidays, and this was just a really pleasant surprise to bump into a fellow pet lover who's actually taking an active stand and moving forward and, and again, making the moves to make it a better place for the animals. So Merry Christmas to all, and Merry Christmas to all the little furry friends out there.